What we have here is a prototype per solenoid engraver. And um, it's, uh, it's got uh, controls for um, the power and for the uh, uh, frequency. So the power is controlled by this pedal here via this speed controller. Uh, it's a PWM out but it actually will be controlling the amount of power that goes through to the handpiece. And this one here is a Hall effect. This one's a potentiometer driven. Uh, I have altered it by taking out a load of the rubbish that's inside there and there's just the potentiometer wired in there. And this one's a Hall effect switch. This one's a much better switch because you can you can you can uh, uh, set it at a particular speed, uh, a particular uh, power output. Uh, this one here has some springs which return. Um, I've taken out the two large springs and I've put in them two much smaller springs, and this is much easier to actually uh, use. So um, this foot pedal controls the power. Uh, um, so it comes into here, you set the power output that you want, um, this comes through to the MOSFET which is here, uh, and the frequency is driven by this one going into the uh, UNO, uh, and this then triggers the MOSFET which then sends the power through to the solenoid. So <coughs> the handpiece is, is made from essentially a piece of tube which I've bored out a little bit more and I've put a piece on the end there so that I can fit my, uh, my normal engraving bits in. This is my um, uh, normal uh, um, pneumatic uh, engraving tool which fits in exactly the same tools. So into this I put the solenoid and then I put the, the piston a little spacer in there and then that goes together like that. So <clears throat> we have this controlling the power and this controlling so I'll put the power on about 45 and then I'll increase the frequency with the whole effect switch. Quite a lot of power coming through there. More than enough for what I need for the engraving. I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. The minimum amount of components <coughs> and mainly off-the-shelf components with a little bit of programming in the, uh, um, the Arduino. Uh, 